Hi, it's Gordon here at Avalites, and I'm gonna take you through using the Titan remote. First thing that I have done is I have configured the IP on my phone to be a static IP. I know exactly the range that it's on, and I've set it up on a wireless access point. Next, I'm gonna go into Titan, and I'm gonna choose system and network settings. I'm gonna make sure that this IP address is in the same range as my phone. If it's not, I can click on that and I can type in a new IP range there. If you don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to basic computer networking or IP ranges, then take the time and make sure that you go on YouTube and you search for basic computer networking because there's a whole host of videos about it. As soon as I've done both of these things and they're on the same network, then I'm gonna be able to use a Titan Net session. As soon as Titan's plugged into a network, it will broadcast it. it's on a Titan Net session. So I'm gonna click on the Titan V13 remote app on my phone. And you can see there, I've got two options. One is for Titan emulator. This is a fake or pretend console, just so that you can have a look at the remote. The next is my laptop, which is called AI Miami. I can clearly see the IP address there and I can see that it's a master. I'm gonna click on it, and it's already loading the show that I have here inside Titan. If I go to my groups and palettes, I will be able to say group one, enter, and select it just the same as I can in the Titan surface. I've got the numeric keypad here. I've got my group button. I've got my palettes. I can say group one, enter. I can tap locate. And if I open up my capture visualizer, you can see that those fixtures that are in group one, my all spots group have clearly been located. Thanks for watching and tune into the next one.